Oahu teen is twirling his way to the top. Jack Scott is a competitive baton twirler who took the bronze medal at this year's world champion. Yeah, and he's a natural. It's a sport he just picked up just three years ago. Jim Mendoza has more. I'm running cross country right now. I would like to do soccer when it comes around. But soft-spoken Jack Scott already excels in a sport where his talent does the talking. He is one of the top baton twirlers in the world for his level and age group. This summer, the 14-year-old St. Louis School freshman won the bronze medal at the World Championships in Liverpool, England. I was really hoping for a, a medal to baton because I think that's the most I put the work into. I think it's probably that's like the my best 15 I like really like really tried on that one. Jax was among more than 1200 athletes representing 21 countries at the championships. It was his first Nations Cup competition. I was just blown away by how successful he was in the performance that he did to earn himself a bronze medal. Um, and I really felt in my gut that it was good enough for a medal and I was just waiting to see um, what color it would be. He started twirling when he was 11 after finding his mom's baton packed away in the garage. Spinning it came pretty easy and he has all the tools, the fearlessness to toss his batons 50 feet in the air and the coordination to catch them without breaking stride. Even when he makes mistakes, he just keeps going. You, you kind of just like go with the flow. You just keep going. When I twirl, I kind of look right above the judges, so I don't have to look them right in the eyes. So, like, it looks like I'm looking at them, but I'm not really. Jennifer Marcus and his other coach, Cody Carter, live on the mainland. They work with him through FaceTime sessions and critique his routines. Jennifer is a multi-medalist and world champion twirler. She says Jax is a role model. It's really admirable that he's a male baton twirler too, because obviously there's not as many male athletes as there are um, female twirlers in the country. And so to be a male athlete and to be successful really takes a lot of courage, I think. Jax is winning a medal at the World Championships proved to himself that he can compete at the highest level. I felt like I belong somewhere when I won it and like that, like, I brought a medal back to the USA. He's also learning fire knife dancing, but twirling is a year-round sport and setting his sights on representing Team USA at the Junior Olympics. I'm Jim Mendoza for Hawaii News Now.